about to make a quick and healthy pizza. Well, personal pizza. As you can see, these are just tortilla size. And I stored them in the, the freezer, pardon me, so they just came out frozen. Here I've made some of my uh, sauce, tomato sauce, but I did less with it. I just put in the sauce and the herbs. I'm going to spread the tomato sauce on each of the frozen tortillas. You want to be sure to get them around the edges because although it'll still be good, you want it all to taste pizza-y. You don't need a thick layer. And I have my toppings here. I'm just going to use the red onion, longevity spinach, chicken apple sausage. I usually would use a turkey or something like that. You know what? I should try fish one day and have fish pizza. I, I don't even know if that's a thing. But anyway, I'm going to start off with just a little of my Mexican cheese. Just a little, very little longevity spinach on these. My long sliced red onion. I really didn't slice my onion up thin enough this particular time, but if you know like I know, red onions, onions are very healthy and flavorful. I'm gonna put the meat on. Finally, the mozzarella. And we're gonna load that up quite, not, quite nicely. We all know the most important thing is that it tastes delicious, right? Right. These are my uh, black eyed peas from yesterday, which was New Year's Day. What you know about that? Pop these puppies in for about 15 minutes. On my favorite degrees. And it's a go. Probably could use five more minutes but you want the crust to be like potato chip crunchy really because I have those Tostitos so of course they're gonna be thin crust little thin crust personal pieces you know I was I was saying before how I wish I had that I didn't cut the uh, red onion thin enough and quite frankly I was able to really bite in and taste the onion that way in fact I want to include the onion in the name in the name that I give this recipe so I'm gonna have it's gonna be chicken apple onion spinach yeah, chicken apple onion spinach and those are really all the ingredients you got right there other than the actual crust sauce and cheese chicken apple onion spinach and I really thought that there would be moments that the spinach was too much because I actually got put quite a bit on there but no it wasn't it was actually really good it's filling but still light obviously light enough for us to want to come and get another batch <laughs> and make another batch and it's quick for me to be willing to want to come make, make another batch and quite frankly I was laughing a minute, minute ago with mister because I came down here to show him he was like no I don't want you to make any more if it's going to take a while and I was like, it only takes a few minutes and then 15 to cook. So I was laughing with him uh, because I told him how quick it was going to be. And the thing that took me, I asked him to guess what took me the longest amount of time in making this pizza. <laughs> Y'all guess in the comments. Oh, that's ready. Okay, already. So, yeah. I'm going to let these puppies sit for like two full minutes, cut them all in half, and we're going to go to town yet again. And you'll see I considered using uh, some broccoli stock in it, but I decided not to. I believe a lot of people do too much with ingredients when it comes to things like juicing and pizza and stuff like that. Keep it simple.